It is truly a historic day for the city of Tuscaloosa. Today, the city officially becomes woven into the fabric of the 2008 Olympic tradition and pageantry. It is my honor to announce that the city of Tuscaloosa has been selected by the United States Olympic Committee to host the 2008 Olympic Triathlon Trials on April 19th. <laughs> Tuscaloosa is really looking forward to this opportunity, especially when you consider that on the same day we will be hosting again the United States Triathlon, the National Collegiate Triathlon which is going to bring 1,000 student athletes, 2,000 fans from more than 100 colleges and universities on the morning before we host the Olympic trials on the afternoon. Their presence will enhance the anticipation and the atmosphere of Tuscaloosa hosting the Olympic trials. We are a people filled with strength. We are a people that are filled with an endless optimism. We understand the significance of this day and what it means to have the world's greatest athletes swim in our river, compete on our streets, and seek Olympic glory in a city that is very familiar with winning championships. So on behalf of the Tuscaloosa City Council, the Tuscaloosa Convention and Visitors Bureau, and the Park and Recreation, let me extend to the USOC and the USAT what an honor it is for the city of Tuscaloosa to host, host the 2008 Olympic Triathlon Trials and let you know that we are going to work tirelessly to make the city proud, the state proud, and this nation proud. We're a community that can, can, can take in the Olympics here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, at least for their trial event and kind of, as the mayor mentioned, weave us into the national community. I think it's just a fantastic fantastic opportunity. The length of the course is exactly the same in Beijing, so it was just per a perfect match and perfect reason to bring it to Tuscaloosa. You look at an event like this, uh, it's huge for, for a city like Tuscaloosa. You have Olympic caliber athletes that are going to be coming for that, not only for that one particular weekend to participate in that event, but following the holidays, they'll be coming into our city individually, more than likely with their families, they're going to be practicing, they're going to be getting this course down pat to prepare themselves for the actual event itself. So for the whole winter going into the, to the event in April, uh, they'll be making a number of trips here to Tuscaloosa. When we look to host events like the National Collegiate Triathlon or getting the Olympic Triathlon Trials, they look at those improvements and say, this is a city that wants us here. And this is a city that we can bring our athletes and know that they're going to compete on a, on a world-class scale in a world-class environment. You know, this is a world-class event in an all-American city. Uh, it couldn't be an any more exciting day for our city. We're looking at probably an economic impact just for that weekend of anywhere from three to four million dollars. But as far as the overall economic impact, that, that would be hard to gauge at this point because no one would really know for sure. But with the national media coverage that we're going to garner from this, uh, in, in our opinion, in, in tourism, it's priceless. I think it says something great. We can host a triathlon and know that somebody will come out of here and potentially be wearing Olympic gold in Beijing in 2008.